Hello friends, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we will explore the process of creating REST APIs in web methods. So in this video, we will focus on implementation of get and post method utilizing REST APIs in web methods. First, we will understand what is REST APIs. So REST API is a type of web service that allows communication between different systems using HTTP request and response. And this communication happen in a structured format called JSON or XML. So let's begin. Go to your designer. Let's first quickly create a folder called REST API. So first we will understand the get operation of the REST API. Implementing a get API, we will be using our previously created service called get employ. Let's see it's working or not. Yes, it is working. So we will be using this get employ service. So for creating a REST APIs, we first have to create REST resource. So what is REST resource? REST resource is nothing but a logical grouping of related API endpoints or method that provide access to the specific sets of resources. So we will understand this by implementing. So let's create quickly. Uh, let's say employ resource. Empty resource finish. Now here you can observe that the designer has automatically created a folder for you in which it has document type service and employee resource so in this rest resource first we will implement get api so click on add give the rest url name let's say get employees get employee and service name select our service get employee now we'll select this method as get and click OK. Now here you can see that it is automatically created. Now let's save this. Now we will try to test this service or endpoint from URL. So how do we create the URL? So to create the URL, have to we'll have now to create the URL, we'll have to take Hostname and port, and then we'll copy this template prefix and our URL template, which is get employee. Now, get employee service. Is having now get employee service is having one input which is ID. So how do we pass this ID? So we will use a query parameter ID equals to one. Now we will test our get API using Postman. So let's open Postman. Now put your URL here. We'll select here as a get. Now we'll try to hit this. The X is exception because it is uh, because we are trying to to access our integration server from outside application. So we would need credentials, which is administrator and my password update the request and then send now here you can see that data is coming first name john and but it is not in a structure format so to convert it into the json what we will do we will simply add here content type and then application json JSON. Now we'll try to hit again. And here you can see that we will get the employee data in a JSON format. So this way 
this is a simple way to create a get api in web method i hope you understand the get operation now we will see post operation so to do so again go to the rest resource and we'll try to add let's say insert employee select the service name okay we don't have service so let's quickly create the service let's say insert employee and here we will be using our insert employee adapter service and we'll create input and output which will be id first last What else? First name, last email. Okay. Email. Save this. Now we will map. Oh, this is integer. This is a string. So we have to convert it into this into integer so to do so we will use service called hmm, two number yeah ID convert as integer And we will this number two person we will map all the parameters. We'll see first we'll see what is the table name. this okay here we can see there are 10 records now we'll try to add from our service now go to the server and then go service id let's say first name it be anything now we'll try to run this now here we can see that it is inserted let's check in our database here we can see the record is inserted now we will expose this service as a post so how we can do that we go to go to the rest resource add give url name let's say insert employee and then we'll select our service name so service name is insert employee and then we'll select method as a post that's it now we'll save this now what we will do we'll quickly create the url only this thing will change so we'll 
it would be insert employee now we'll copy this go to our postman and here we will put url and then we'll select as a post we'll give authorization as basic update the request now this is a post request what we will do here we'll select raw and we'll select as a application json now we have to create the json for our request so our request is this sorry the request is id first name last name and email so we'll create a json quickly let's quickly create the json now we'll try to hit this request okay sorry so this would be string okay trial now here we are getting the empty request so we'll first check our database we'll see whether the employee is added there or not so here we can see that Vivek is added. That means service is successfully executed. And here also we can check the status is okay. So this way we can create the post API and we can expose this URL to the external world. I hope you get the point. If you have any doubt or queries, then please do let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, then please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.